Low pressure, little disturbance moving away. This front settling down into the state. And it does appear over the course of the next couple of days, no significant fronts blowing through with any cool relief. We keep the humidity, we keep the temps a little above normal. And again, when you have all this humid air, it doesn't take much to trigger a scattered thunderstorm. Nighttime lows tonight, upper 60s tomorrow, back in the 80s. Sounds like a broken record. Here's the forecast now for the dog days of summer. We're talking about 69 for a low tonight. A few thunder showers early, but they're already diminishing, hazy and humid. Then for the day tomorrow, we start off at 8 a.m. in the low 70s, wind our way to a high of 86, sun and clouds mixed, and again, the chance for some boomers. Next couple of days, kind of the same tune here, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all highs in the upper 80s to near 90 each day, and the chance for some scattered storms uh, throughout the end of the week and the weekend. So again, just like today, you can't say those days are going to be washed out, but there is the chance for a storm. You gotta roll with it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, yeah, John. We're good sports. Thanks, Jeff. Well, uh, Emery King is in the newsroom right now with a preview of the night beat. Emery? It's not what you say, but how you say it. Your body language might say what you really mean, even when your words don't. And body language might have cost a president his job. And that one little gesture, you know, looking at his watch, uh, was devastating, because it said to anybody, the camera happened to catch it, uh, this guy is eager to get out of here. New at 11, what does your body language say about you? And how can you make it work for you? You'll see tonight on the Night Beat. And that's the News Beat at 6. Thanks for watching. Right now for Dan and Chuck and Van Earl and the entire News Beat team, I'm Ruth Spencer. Good night. Cool.